Okay, everybody, hello, and welcome back. We are doing another week of filming for the uh, 1340 Environmental Lab, and we have a new student with us today, Cody, and Lucy is back with us. So um, this week, we are gonna talk about two different rock types, moving on from our uh, minerals and from our igneous rocks. This week, we're gonna be talking about sedimentary rocks, as well as metamorphic rocks. In this first video, these first few, I wanna go over sedimentary rocks, okay? So, as we said um, last week, we said that rocks in general are uh, collections of minerals. These minerals are held together with either interlocking crystals, such happens in igneous rocks, or with cement, which happens primarily in sedimentary rocks. So, the definition of a sedimentary rock is a rock that has experienced weathering And then the material, as a result of weathering, called sediment, is transported from where it is originally found and then it becomes a rock again through a process called lithification or also precipitation. Okay, so for example, a really great example of a sedimentary rock is called sandstone. And if you guys uh, make sure that you have this material with you, we're going to be looking through our sedimentary rock kits, which is labeled as bag number five. We're also going to be using the mixed sediment bag, which is labeled as 5.1. And we're going to still need our uh, mineral testing supplies, which is the bag labeled as number one. Okay, so if you grab um, and open up your sedimentary rocks, you'll see that we have a very nice collection here. We're going to go into detail about how all of these go through these processes. So for this first introductory part of the video, I want you guys to understand the four steps that each sedimentary rock has. We have weathering, either chemical or physical, sediment, where we um, have Let's see, weathering, Let's take a quick look. Yeah. Weathering turns into sediment. With this sediment, is this transported from one point to another? Then that sediment is deposited. Okay, so it's laid down at another spot, and then that sediment is lithified or in the chemical weathering case, the uh, material precipitates out of solution and we have a rock. So we're gonna move on from this video to another one. This is a quick introduction and um, get more information as we go.